Do you have a dream of being a billionaire? It isn't an impossibility. There have been people who started out with very little and ended up becoming billionaires. Today, we're going to go over nine of the top industries in which people have made billions. By the end of this video, you'll have a clearer idea of the kinds of industries in which you could make your billions. Number 9. Finance and Investments According to Forbes 2021 Globe's billionaire list, the world has 2,755 billionaires. The most likely route to a billion dollar fortune is to enter the financial and investing industry. Manufacturing came in third place this year with 331 billionaires, including 155 Chinese citizens. Despite the restrictions, fashion and retail came in fourth place, accounting for 273 billionaires, or 10% of this year's list. The world's wealthiest individuals hold shares in more than 60 businesses, including Duracell and Dairy Queen. He Zhang Zhang founded the Mydea Group, which currently has over 200 companies and is listed on the Shenzhen Stock Exchange. Bernard Arnault, chairman and CEO of LVMH, is responsible for over 70 brands, including Louis Vuitton, Tiffany & Co., and Sephora. Zhong Shanshan is the chairman of Nongfu Spring, a bottled water firm. Number 8. Technology The technology sector is made up of companies that offer goods and services in the fields of electronics, software, computers, artificial intelligence, and other information technology related sectors. Tech businesses make significant investments into research and development, and may embark on riskier ventures with a bigger potential for growth. Apple, Google, Amazon, Facebook, Netflix, IBM, and Microsoft are all part of the U.S. technological sector. Silicon Valley is a home to a plethora of forward-thinking technological enterprises. While some of these internet firms were media and content companies that simply utilized code as a medium, others pioneered rich features that evolved into e-commerce, social networking, the sharing economy, and even cloud-based computing. These subsectors are more controllable than the colossal title, technology sector, which is applied to each organization. Bill Gates, Jeff Bezos, and Larry Page are three of the most powerful technology entrepreneurs of our generation. Without them, there would be no Microsoft, Amazon, or Google, and the internet would not have grown at the rate it has in the previous 30 years. Without Linux, it is highly improbable that our present linked age would exist. Number 7. Manufacturing Manufacturing is the process of creating items using labor, equipment, and tools, as well as chemical or biological processing or formulation. The phrase may be used for a variety of human endeavors, from handcrafted items to high-tech ones, although it is most frequently used in reference to industrial design. According to the 2016 Global Manufacturing Competitiveness Index, the world's best manufacturing nations will remain stable between now and 2020, but with minor ranking movement. According to a Deloitte survey, worldwide CEOs were asked to rate the world's top manufacturing nations based on their present and future manufacturing competitiveness. He Jingzhan is a co-founder of MyDear, one of the major appliance manufacturers in China. On September 20th, 2021, Bloomberg Billionaire's Index assessed that his net worth was $28.8 billion. Number 6. Fashion Fashion is a mode of self-expression and autonomy expressed via clothes, footwear, lifestyle accessories, cosmetics, hairstyles, and body posture within a certain time and place and within a specific environment. The fashion system makes available and popularizes anything that is considered fashionable in terms of industry and media. Fashion functions include the capacity to design, anticipate, disseminate, and execute certain values and samples of behavior, as well as the ability to shape and govern an entity's tastes. Fashion complements old forms of culture by modernizing them and constructing a new human environment on this basis. Fashion is what individuals wear in particular situations and is an indication of both who they are and what they've been wearing. Clothing is frequently created in one nation, made in another, and distributed globally. 
For a long time, the fashion business was one of the greatest jobs in the United States. By any metric, the apparel business contributes a sizable portion of global economic production. Fashion is inextricably linked to an environment, social, and cultural milieu. Fashion is a $2.5 trillion business worldwide that has disproportionately enriched its leaders from designers and CEOs to founders and heiresses. Bernard Arnault is the wealthiest person in fashion. He is the chairman of LVMH, the world's largest luxury goods company, which owns Louis Vuitton, Dom Perignon, Christian Dior, and as of November 2019, Tiffany & Co. Giorgio Armani is worth $6.27 billion. He is the co-founder and sole proprietor of the Armani Empire, which includes businesses in haute couture, sportswear, cosmetics, restaurants, interior design, hotels and resorts, and ready-to-wear apparel. Number 5. Retail Retail services consist of a retail outlet's aesthetic, equipment, exhibit space, retail counters, signs, layouts, and functioning. Retail designers place a premium on the entrance of the store, dubbed the decompression zone. Brand presentation is also a component of the entire shop design. The location of a product on the shelf has a direct effect on the chance of purchase due to visibility and accessibility. The retail environment's ambient circumstances such as lighting, temperature, and music are critical. Samuel Moore Walton, born March 29, 1918, and died April 5, 1992, was an American entrepreneur and businessman best known for his co-founding of Walmart and Sam's Club. He and his four children formed Walmart Stores Incorporated, with the exception of his youngest son, Jim, who is the chairman of Arvest Bank. Until 2005, the Walton family counted among its members five of the top ten richest people in the United States. By the way, we're on a mission to help people like yourself make billions. So make sure to subscribe if that sounds like you. Number 4. Food and Beverages The food sector serves the majority of the world's population with food. Numerous food sectors are nearly totally reliant on local agriculture, products, and fisheries. Biotechnology is accelerating development in a wide variety of fields, including agrochemicals, plant breeding, and food processing. As customers distance themselves from food production, product development, advertising, and publicity become the key conduits for food information. The beverage business, also known as the beverage industry, manufactures beverages, most notably ready-to-drink items. Production of beverages varies significantly depending on the product being manufactured. Canning or bottling, plastic or glass, hot fill or cold fill, and natural or conventional are all options. Qinghao Zong is worth $11.6 billion. He is the chairman of China's fastest growing local beverage firm, Wahaha, which produces bottled water, teas, and other ready-to-drink products. He is the richest man on the Chinese mainland. Jorge Paulo Lehmann, Brazil's richest man, ascended to his position through acquisitions of Anheuser-Busch and Burger King. Number 3. Real Estate Residential real estate may contain either a single-family or multi-family structure that is available for occupation or for non-business purposes. Different types of housing tenure can be used for the same physical type. For example, Connected residences might be owned by a single entity and leased out or owned separately with an agreement covering the relationship between units. Donald Brem achieved the real estate industry's richest individual status through his ownership of the Irvin Company. Sun Hongbing established Sunak China Holdings, one of the leading real estate developers in China. Sunak paid $9.3 billion for Wanda Group's hotel and tourist assets in 2017. Sam Well made headlines when he sold his equity office, Wright Equity, to Blackstone for $39 billion in one of the biggest real estate transactions in history. Number 2. Energy Electricity is not freely available in nature, so it must be produced that is, transforming other forms of energy into electricity. Production is carried out in power stations, also called power plants, 
Now, electricity is most often generated at a power plant by electromechanical generators, primarily driven by heat engines, fueled by combustion, or nuclear fission, but also by other means, such as the kinetic energy of flowing water or wind. Electricity generation at central power stations started in 1882, and the first power plants used water power or even coal. Today, a variety of energy sources are used, such as coal, nuclear, natural gas, hydroelectric, wind, and oil. Utility scale generation is achieved by rotating electrical generators or by photovoltaic systems. The photovoltaic effect is the transformation of light into electrical energy, as in solar cells. Osmotic power is a possibility at places where salt and fresh water merge. The economics vary considerably around the world, which results in widespread residential selling prices. Zhen Yukun, better known as Robin Zhang, is a Chinese entrepreneur who is worth over $1 billion. He is the founder and chairman of Contemporary Amperex Technology, a battery producer. Number 1. Media and Entertainment At 717 billion dollars, the US media and entertainment sector is the world's largest, accounting for one-third of the worldwide M&E industry. It includes feature films, television shows, advertisements, streaming material, music, and audio recordings, broadcast and radio, book publishings, video games, as well as related services and goods. Box office receipts are likely to exceed 11 billion dollars in 2019. And this number includes $991 million in estimated theater advertising revenue. The recording music industry in the United States rose to $22 billion in 2019, making it the world's largest music market. The industry has even expanded its reach by entering into sync agreements with vertical industries. For television advertisements, in-flight entertainment, satellite radio, restaurants, tours, live entertainment, and merchandising. Michael Bloomberg is the 20th richest person in the entire world, with an estimated net worth of $59 billion as of September 15, 2021. Bloomberg founded the company Bloomberg LP in 1982, selling computer terminals that delivered real-time market data to Wall Street companies. If you found this video useful, then you'll love these. And be sure to like the video to let the YouTube algorithm know that you'd like to see more videos like this one.